uh, this is where we currently are on our efforts in Haiti. We're developing the project into Haiti Eco Living Project called HELP. Uh, it's basically compounds that the Haitians can build themselves that are absolutely sustainable. They're building them from materials that are in and around Port-au-Prince. Automobile tires rammed with earth uh, make a foundation for six cisterns, plastic cisterns. Uh, they also, the same automobile tires rammed with earth, make a foundation for uh, eight vaults surrounding the six plastic cisterns. The six plastic cisterns are the type that are already available in Haiti. The roofs all run into these cisterns and thus make the uh, water catchment. Uh, they are surrounded by a ring wall of plastic bottle bricks laid in cement, again collected and manufactured and laid by the Haitians with product that is around the uh, city of Port-au-Prince. All the tires are then plastered over, the plumbing is brought in with uh, toilets, showers, and sinks that are serviced by the cisterns. Uh, these spaces are then enclosed by more walls of plastic bottle bricks laid in cement by the Haitians. Uh, the structure is a very lightweight ferro-cement uh, vault structure made of a birdcage of steel that is then plastered. All of this has already been done by the Haitians in our previous project. We know that they can do it all. Uh, then we bring in uh, insulation layer which is made from cardboard scraps and styrofoam scraps gathered from the streets of Port-au-Prince and put in bags and pushed in to, to make the configuration of the insulation as shown. And then that is covered with a plaster shell and another ring of the plastic bottle bricks. The plastic bottles are there by the billions. Uh, this makes a unit uh, housing 32 people in eight groups of four. We do little expanded yard spaces out in front that each have a solar oven to reduce the need for uh, charcoal and wood in cooking. And then there, in between these spaces, we bring out the rubber-lined botanical cells which, uh, which biologically treat the gray and black water and contain the sewage and at the same time define the exterior yard spaces with privacy between the units with uh, local jungle growth and we have a 32 person unit that is capable of being built by the Haitians and houses 32 people with all facilities. Uh, we have a very simple little electrical package that we put in each unit to provide lighting and plugs for a cellular, cellular phone charging situation. So here is the expanded view, the floor plan below, the bird cage on that of the vaults, the plaster on the vaults, the insulation, and the final coating of a compound for 32 people that is a cellular unit that can be replicated uh, uh, to, to house thousands of people. So the basic compound is a floor plan like this that uh, houses 32 people. It is our idea then to uh, replicate these pretty much like a virus and we will take this 32 person compound and put eight of them together with a common space in the middle and there we have uh, the potential of 256 people with a common space in the middle that can be used for a, a clinic or a school or just a open space for the people. Uh, so now we have 256 people in about a uh, in about a 240 foot diameter. Uh, each other each of the small cells takes up 70 foot diameter. And now we take eight of those and put them together in a village of 2,048 people, and that's about a thousand foot diameter. And this gives us a village of 2,048 people, and then these villages can be uh, can be replicated and pushed together, and basically we continue to develop in almost organic fashion now what looks like a virus. This is the actual Google map of of uh, near north of Port-au-Prince for 18,432 people, uh, all with facilities, all done with products that are around Port-au-Prince, much of them recycled. 
So our effort here is to create a virus, a cellular product uh, village that will be built by the Haitians themselves and continue to grow and continue to house the people by and for themselves.